issues. Yeah, now nah, it feels great to finally just be out there and be healthy. It's just it's a blessing. You know, you don't you take you don't take anything for granted now because you can see the game just get took from you so easily with one wrong turn, one jump, one catch, something like that. So just to finally be out there, it's just a blessing for me every single time. I never take it for granted. Yep. Have you ever talked about like what exactly happened on the play you got where you broke your was it hand last year? It was yeah, like because I know you were having a great stuff. camp. Yeah, was it like a touchdown catch or something like that. I, yeah, I jumped up in the back of the end zone, went for the catch, and when I came down for my hand, yeah. I just put it in. So I mean, I I felt like it was like it hurt a little bit, but I wasn't really worried about it. So I tried to tape it up, and I was catching, catching, catching. And I kind of went out to go practice still, but then they just called me back like I, I think something might be wrong. So. Uh, yeah, trying to probably forget that little memory. Okay. Right. <laughs> I'm just getting through camp and stuff healthy yeah. and going into the week one opener. I mean, where does that put your mindset, I guess, um, mentally? It makes me feel great because uh, I just put a lot of work in the off season yeah. to finally get to this moment, just changing my lifestyle, changing my habits because I just know that, like, it's, my, it's year four and I want to be able to help our team any way possible. So it's pretty uh, – it was pretty good to finally just have yeah. the health how I wanted to be healthy and be out there on this Saturday. Have you been doing the X, the Z's? What have you been doing the most of? Yeah, I've been mixing around more about mostly like I played last year X, so I've been mixing a lot more, okay. a lot more in the X spot. Well, that's kind of a key spot, right? Yeah, we <laughs> <laughs> all key spots. We all got good people at every spot, but yeah, it's a, it's a good spot. Just to play. the strength of the wide receiver room as a, as a whole. How do you feel about it now? Yeah, I'm conf camp. Yeah, confident about every single person. I think uh, no matter who we call into the field, someone's going to be able to be out there and make a play um, from Nico, Caleb, Seth, Weijin, Wick. Yeah, I, you could put anyone on the field, and I'm confident that they'll do their job and they'll be able to make a play every single time. What were some of those lifestyle changes that you made when you were uh, getting healthy? Yeah, I started eating better, just trying to get the veggies in there. Uh, I wasn't too big of a veggie guy, so I had some <laughs> veggies in there. Um, and just going, I just haven't really went out anymore. Uh, cutting out the drinking and stuff like that, and that's been the biggest, uh, I think, biggest part for me. You know, drinking is no good, so everyone out there, don't drink too much. <laughs> wow. How, how have you kind of seen like the changes in your body, like from those uh, those changes? You see that? <laughs> Come on, I got the muscles now. I mean, you know, in the weight room a little bit more, and the veggies. You know, just a good thing to get the veggies in you, and uh, just eat a lot more protein and stuff like that. So definitely, my body just feels better. I feel more refreshed, I feel energized more and stuff like that. Just changing the lifestyle and changing the eating habits for sure. What's a good junk food that to cut out with these lifestyle changes? I just cut out my Doritos, my spicy nacho Doritos. <laughs> those, those are my thing. I used to kill those a lot. Skittles and stuff like that. So I kind of laid load on those. Um, those are my cheat meals now. So whenever I got to get a little cheat meal, I'll just get a couple of spicy nachos in there. <laughs> What's your favorite veggie right now? Asparagus. Asparagus? Asparagus, yeah. Okay. That's a good one. Yeah. 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 You, we've heard, or you've heard them. I know you try to block it out from, from you know, media preseason polls. The Iowa offense wasn't that good last year. How's it going to improve? But for, I feel like the first time you'll, you'll be doing it in front of fans who have high expectations. How excited are you to like actually get in front of fans and hear cheering for you know, Iowa offense? Yeah, it's exciting, man. They're, they're always out there. There's always out there, and they're full too all the time. So. We're excited to finally go out there on Saturday and with all the work we put in, finally be out there on Saturday and get to put it against another team. Uh, we've been doing a great job versus Iowa defense, so that gives us so much confidence because we all know that's the top defense in the nation. So to be able to do that versus them, we're so excited to finally get out there and be a team and go out there and handle business how we want it.